Well, our correspondent in Papua New Guinea, Liam Fox, has been following the political crisis since it began and he joins me now on the phone. Liam Fox, is this a reassuring development that the PNG police force does not appear to be splitting in two and taking sides? I think it'll certainly ease people's fears uh, that uh, the police force was essentially divided into pro Samari and uh, pro O'Neill camps. Um, there were fears that uh, divisions between those two camps could be a flashpoint for violence, particularly uh, when the police loyal to O'Neill went about their orders uh, as given by O'Neill to retake government assets like the printing office, the treasury and finance building, and particularly government house where police uh, loyal to Sir Michael Samari have been camped since Monday night and uh, where we saw those spectacular scenes of O'Neill and his colleagues bursting through their barricade at Government House on Tuesday. So that now these these uh, officers have handed themselves in, so to speak. Uh, I think those fears are, will be eased somewhat. And certainly, Liam, there's no sign that the army is going to get involved at all this stage, at this stage? Not at this stage, no, though there are rumblings that perhaps uh, the Samari camp is trying to do something, but nothing has uh, been confirmed at this stage. The head of the PNG Defence Force uh, has been quoted in local reports earlier this week saying the army does not want to get involved. This is a political issue, not a military one. Liam, earlier today you'd reported that Peter O'Neill had told Parliament that he'll be having a cabinet meeting this afternoon. Any sign of that? That's why we're actually uh, leaving uh, the office for to go and see. Uh, he's told Parliament that at 3pm he'll be having a cabinet meeting at Maratha House. Now that's the uh, home of the Prime Minister and Cabinet Department. Uh, that's been occupied by Sir Michael Samari and his team since uh, earlier this week, and since the Supreme Court's decision to reinstate him as Prime Minister. Uh, so we're going down there to see if uh, Mr O'Neill uh, fulfils this commitment uh, and if there are any fireworks. Well, I was going to ask you, is Sir Michael and his supporters actually still at that building? Because wouldn't there be a bit of a, a potential for a confrontation if they were? Yes, as far as we know, they were, and we were there about an hour or so ago, and there was quite a lot of police uh, there as well. There must have been four or five troop carriers, uh, land cruiser troop carriers, uh, full of police there. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, yesterday you were reporting too that church leaders were asking these two prime ministerial rivals to try to sort things out. I mean, is there any suggestion that Peter O'Neill and his team are going to this building to actually sit down and talk with Sir Michael Samari and his supporters? No, there's no indication that's going to happen, though. There has been some talks between the Attorneys General from both sides. Uh, yesterday on Radio Australia, they gave a, uh, they agreed uh, to look at uh, getting together and talking about potential ways to solve this and there's been talk that uh, they've actually gotten together and they might be announcing the results of this get together on Radio Australia this afternoon but uh, Peter O'Neill as far as we know is not going to Marada House to talk to Sir Michael Samari, he's going there to conduct the cabinet meeting. Well, final question, Liam Fox. Are there any more signs of protests uh, outside any of these uh, buildings and institutions that have been at the centre of attention this week? Uh, no, there isn't. It's been quite a wet and rainy day here in Port Moresby today, and whether it's the rain or whether it's just the exhaustion, uh, things seem to have been uh, cooling down, certainly amongst the public. There was no demonstrations, um, and it just had an atmosphere of cooling down, but... Uh, Perhaps the, that's the calm before another storm, we just don't know.